Okay. Watch your six, baby. Two. 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 Watch out for the rat! Thank you. from Austin, Texas, where a baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. What what does a baby have to do? I don't know, but we're gonna find out tonight for damn sure, because we are going to play so many baby games. Oh. So many baby games. We're gonna find out tonight the inner workings of the human baby. Uh. What the baby does, what the baby thinks, and uh, what the baby accomplishes in terms of gameplay mechanics, most importantly. Are we going to be getting into the baby mindset? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please uh, please take out your, your copy of the Boss Baby Manifesto. <laughs> Pray to it and get in that baby mindset, because as of right now, poof, you're all babies. Danny, no! I'm not, no, that's, that's too many diapers, absolutely fucking not. <laughs> Welcome to the show, everybody. It's Welcome. been a couple weeks since we last streamed, but we put some time into improving things. I have a, a different microphone. I don't know if that's noticeable at all. We also have a new capture card. Mm -hmm. We have new lots of things. A lot of new things. A lot of new things that hopefully nobody will ever be able to notice at all, but will make things uh, transparently much easier for us on this side. Yes. We have a lot of people to thank for this, so mm -hmm. Alex, get started. All right, thank you, Comic Chameleon, for the 35-month resub. Hey, baby, hey, baby, hey. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> thank you. That is that is the chant to get you into the baby zone. Thank you, Magmaram, 48-month resub. Holy shit, that's four years. Here's to four years rip ronnie yeah rip yeah rip. ronnie we uh we we what do you call that we we fridged him before the show yeah <laughs> uh you'll have to really unfortunate story mm -hmm. shame about that but thank you mm -hmm. thank you thank you to smooth w1 for the 22 month resub rip the gipper yeah absolutely <laughs> thank rip you. thank you arpaga 26 month resub i think a 26 months would still describe me on the weird baby age scale instead of normal human years yeah, yeah sure. that's about right mm -hmm, thank mm -hmm. you spin cut 30 month resub my sub has aged out of the stream once a toddler showcase never thank you <laughs> thank Moo-Ware, 27 months 27 months that's like three babies that is three babies you, wait hang babies. on hang on you counting no, that checks out. That's three whole babies. Thank you. Cool. Thank you to Refurb for the 16 month. You appreciate that. Thank you, 68K Heart, 19 month reset. Retro Pals, when you're here, you're a baby. We are. <laughs> That's very Thank true. You, Thank you both. Thank you for the $50. Getting a lot of boss what baby the... vibes from this. What Thank the frick? You. What the frickin' frick? Thank frickin you so much. We are frickin' all over the place. Thank you, Nocturne Dust Claw, for the nine month reset. Hey, pals, glad to make it to the stream. I always enjoy your content. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Revenant, for the 26 months. I'm baby. You you are baby. I declare you baby. When you're here, you're baby. Thank, Thank you. you. Smebble Bear, 51 month resub. Don't blame me for this cursed stream. I voted for Caveman. Yes. <laughs> you yes. sure did. We'll get to that Thank in a you, second. Broken Thank Scholar, you. Broken Scholar, 29 month resub. 29 months is the correct age for this stream. Absolutely. True, true. That's Thank the right age to enjoy Retro Pals. Thank you, Shaxbert, 53 month resub. I think this technically makes me a toddler. It does. Sorry. Sure. You gotta go. We're all toddlers, really. Thank you, JoeBush.net, 27 month resub. Tonight we are the party babies imagined long long ago yes <laughs> thank look you look upon ye babies ozymandias and despair oh my god so where did we come up with this this horrible idea for this train yeah how why well a couple weeks ago i made the pretty amusing discovery that moby games classifies games by the the protagonist and more than that there were categories for both protagonist caveman and protagonist baby slash toddler so I figure, why not do the ultimate battle and put it to our patrons? Caveman versus baby, let's fucking go. How did that shake out? It was a fucking tie. <laughs> no one could decide if they wanted babies or cavemen. So in the end, we had to go to the Retro Pals coin flip. And after a failed flip on Alex's part, yes. where we lost the coin, <laughs> we managed to do another successful flip and babies won this time babies around. Won. 
Thanks to everybody for voting. It was a nail biter the whole weekend. I mm-hmm. checked in on it Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Different numbers each time. They were always tied. Incredible. So this is a hard fought victory for the babies. And we are going to showcase so many baby games tonight. We are. We're in the baby dimension. Yeah. It's awful. Oh my God. Now I have to actually do this. That yeah. sucks. Can I just do like preamble and then be like, uh, actually something came up. Uh, gotta go. We, we, we already skipped. We already, I mean, we already spent two weeks getting the stream perfected. I guess so. Let's get we this We have to started. show them. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's doing the thing you hate. So Sorry. for whatever reason, uh, the majority of games you're going to see tonight are on the Commodore 64 and Amiga. <laughs> So I'm we might sorry. as well get that started with the, the good old C64, Let's... a computer system I definitely know a lot about and am very experienced with. That's not true at all. I, I think I'm going to get these games to work. I have no idea how to play them, though. That may be an issue. So let's start with the earliest example of a baby game. Commodore 64. PAL exclusive. Herbert's Dummy Run. Hmm. Don't like the vibes already. Vibes off with Herb. Absolutely do not like Herb's dummy rum. Thank you, Kate Libsy, for the 26 month resub. 26 months, 26 months, baby games, Commodore 64. <laughs> oh no. Thank yeah. you. And thank you, Shine and Era, for the 14 month resub. Goo goo ga ga to you too. Goo goo ga ga to you too. Thank you. All right, let's do this. All right. Can't put it off any longer. Here it is Herbert's dummy run. Yeah, turn that up for us a little bit if you would. And you can boost the game volume too if you like. That looks good. Da, 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 da. Push two. Da. And you push the space button. Here we go. It's baby town. Time to go on a dummy run. I... When was the last time you went on a dummy run, Alex? I'm not admitting to dummy runs on uh, recorded audio. Oh, has the, uh, audio? Has no. the statute of limitations not passed? Not yet. All right, I like that the bird shits on you. Always okay. good. Okay, so you jump up to uh, to these doorknobs to go through the doors. That is the slowest bird <laughs> shit I have seen in my life. <laughs> Please hurry, bird shit. Oh, thank you, Vroom Vroom Dude, for the subscription. Do appreciate that. Nice, thank you. Welcome to Baby World. <laughs> Sorry, this baby is... This bird is shitting grape juice. This is awful. Now, this is one of those games where you go around picking up items and putting them in different places, a la Dizzy, the famous egg. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, we have a brick with an A on it and the chocolate ten pence. The thing is, I don't know how to use these items. I assume in that last screen with the, the ten pence... Uh, what Did the you f- drown? Was that drowning? I, yeah, a water meter filled all the way up, and then you were at the... Uh... Oh, I got waterlogged. Okay. Maybe Don't waterlog water your log. baby. Okay. <laughs> Dizzy is not a baby. Dizzy is an egg. Yep. I don't think he's a baby. Is an egg a baby? No. Oh, let me, let me take some time at the top of the show to address something disturbing. Oh, man. Now... There was some jokes going on in the, the patron-only Discord being like, oh, I guess we're going to end up seeing Bonk the Caveman either way, huh? Because in, in many communities here on Twitch, there is an argument about whether Bonk is a caveman or a cave baby. He would fit in the, the baby theme. He would fit in the caveman theme. So, of course, we were going to feature him either way, right? Mm-hmm. The, the patrons in the patron zone rocked my world, though, when they informed me. They pasted the first line from the plot summary on Wikipedia, where the first line is, Bonk is... A cave boy. Cave boy. Neither man nor baby. He doesn't yeah. apply to either one of those. He, he's boy. He's excluded. Okay. Cave boy. You know. Okay. Those, are those Daleks? Those are Daleks, and they are. God damn it, C64 programmers. Are those cute? Y'all are fucking nerds. They are. Oh, I threw I threw my dummy at him. Did you see that? Is that what that is? Yeah, that that's what they call pacifiers in Europe, dummies. That's what the. Okay. Oh, you didn't know? Okay. Now the dummy run makes... Okay, okay. <laughs> what did you think he was running for? <laughs> Ventriloquist dummies! I was so confused! All right. Yeah, apparently in, in the British Isles, they call the pacifier, a.k.a. the binky, uh, the, the dummy. Okay, okay. See, we're already learning things. We're learning about Daleks. We're learning about dummies. I don't know why there's a baby throwing dummies at Daleks, but... That's what you you pay to see on the C64. Mm-hmm. Or more likely, a pirate to see. It's, 
<laughs> Imagine pirating this. <laughs> it's not an onk. The baby isn't throwing onks. I the wish they were. The baby is the representation of life. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. That it would be an onk. Okay, okay. Uh, this, this baby is too deep for me. Thank you, Trough of Luxury. 22 month resub. Thank you. And this baby walks more sure footedly than I do. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's a nice little strut he's got yeah, there. This is supposedly a toddler, but uh, he's, he's pretty well equipped to walk. It's a, it's a, it's a good walking lad. Mm hmm. There's the 10 pence. Yeah, might as well pick that up again. You silly Herbert! Mummy and Daddy are still in the lost and found with your 13 jelly babies. You survived. You survived? You died. You survived till 103 and then... Yeah, and then you fucking died. died. You dropped dead on the street. <laughs> You're dead, man. Your mom and dad are off having a grand old time in the lost and found eating your jelly babies. Oh, and the, and the Herbert's game, dead. The game just... Oh, okay. Okay, right. well, that's good. Um... I think there's a rolling demo if you wait here long enough, so let's go ahead and watch that. Maybe there's some maybe there's some clues about how to play this. So, what you see here is a prime example of an early British-influenced adventure game. We mentioned it was similar to Dizzy the Adventurer, you know, our egg friend. Mm -hmm. Only this is a baby. Okay. Wait a minute, did this baby predate Dizzy? I'm gonna have to do some research. I was gonna say, is this a... Okay, there's a red whale in the uh, green house, it looks like. Oh, don't get sucked up by the vacuums, baby. Oh, that's, that's terrible. There's a castle? Oh god, they've got guns! Okay, we've been here. I don't know if any of these areas connect like they do in the uh, the rolling demo. Yeah, it looks like this demo is just a fake. And, it's, and he's Bullshit! invincible! That's an invincible baby! He's walking on water! No! Who does he think he is? Jesus? Baby thinks he's better than Jesus. <laughs> Remember better than Ezra? I think this baby's better than Ezra. Whoa, coats! Sail! What is going on? Wow! The world is your oyster when you're a baby. <laughs> you can do it you can do whatever you want when you're a baby, apparently. Grab rope! Camera? Rope? The light bulb? <laughs> the light bulb. Oh, there they are! We beat the game, everybody! We found Mom and Dad in the Lost and Found. Game over. Alright, we did it! It's, it's Herbert's dummy run. Let me let me try let me try just, just one more run of okay. Herbert's dummy run. Thank you, Jordan Mallory, for the ten month resub. A baby's gotta do what a baby's gotta do. That's true. It's true. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I didn't hit the freaking uh joystick. You gotta enable the joystick, and you gotta put it into port 2. Don't put it into port 1. The C64 might blow up. Okay, good. Wait, really? Yes, actually. Okay. <laughs> I don't like when that happens. I like when things don't blow up. I mean, call me crazy, but... I... Oh, right, it's the number 2. Mm. Okay. I got it. I figured it out. So I guess you start in a toy store? And you have... Oh, it's... It's generation-based damage, of course. I lost so many, so many games for the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum. Once your sprite overlaps with any kind of enemy, you just start taking damage. Mm. Expect me to climb these ropes? All right, yeah. Uh, this emo. baby, this mm -hmm. baby's not very good at climbing. Wait. Oh, this baby sucks. Oh no, thank you. Go on. Oh, babies in Great Britain just go wherever they want. It's a Queen's Law, according to Bimo. <laughs> and that's true. Do you tap up? No? Is yeah. it? Do you wiggle down up? I'm also getting Lego vibes yes. from this baby. What? You, you rotate the stick as fast as possible to make the baby <laughs> climb the rope. I'm getting rope burns on my freaking thumb. Because baby is suffering. Innovative baby suffering gameplay. What? I don't like this room. This is, this is absolute, no, no, I've seen this room in my nightmares, we're going, we're leaving, <laughs> out of here, no, no, you no, sure? yeah, no, 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 mm-mm. Dang, the password didn't work. Here's the castle, we made it. You we're dead. Shot. They took off a lot of life, dude. They did. Oh my god, yeah, that's like three frames, and you're dead. That's it. 
You survived till 1.03 p.m. until you got shot to death. Is it good to have more or fewer jelly babies? You know, that's a question for the ages. I You have to answer that for yourself. Thank you, Dorothy, for the 10-month uh, resub. Welcome back, Retro Pals, with a celebration of babies and their story history. <laughs> Thank you. And all the ways they can die. We're going to see a lot of dead babies tonight. Pretty That's depressing. the story of Herbert's dummy run. He found first uh, 13 and then six jelly babies, and uh, his parents never found him again. Hmm. Good. Next game. Oh, man. What's this one? Go oh, my God. Up next is Jack the Nipper. More uh, more British slang. Is it not here? Is it? No, there it is. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I was... You thought you got lucky. I did. God. It's, it's haunted is the reason I don't like the Commodore 64. It's so haunted. I don't know what to do with it. It just starts making these noises. <laughs> yeah. Beyond present. Jack. The. Duh. Did you choose the wrong one? Did I? Oh, I think you may have. No, no way. I don't. No, I, I think. Can you read that? It's making me nauseous. I think actually I'm right. Okay. Uh-huh, love, love to hear it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the last noises made by Jack the Ripper. It's a, f it's a fucking text-based adventure game. Of course I loaded up Jack the Ripper instead. <laughs> God, suffered those you terrible just, cursed noises for no reason. You just don't want to see these babies. You are anti-baby. I hate computers so much. Where's your child-free hardcore pose? <laughs> Cracked by 3D. Glad there were people around back then to crack all these baby games. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to pay a, pay a tenner to enjoy uh, Herbert's dummy run. Welcome. All right. Yeah, cracking open those babies. Ooh, is there an intro? Look at this. How often do you see that? Oh, oh. never mind. <laughs> intro sucked. 64 graphics by Buck Rogers. Steve Curry, another fake name. Greg Holmes, another obvious pseudonym. Score by Ben. We music now. Come on, play the game. From the original Specky music. God damn yes, it, this is a Spectrum it's game. A specky game. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> most of tonight's games that you're going to see, at least in the first half hour, are also available on the Amstrad CPC, the ZX Spectrum, and the Atari ST in some cases. Uh, it turns out the C64 was the only Jumbo Nuts! The C64 was the only system to host all the baby games that I wanted to show tonight, so to minimize changing systems, that's why I chose C64. Thank you, St. Aspartame, for the 10-month resub. I want my baby, bad baby, bad baby, <laughs> bad games. Thank you. Barbecue sauce, hashtag Applebee's, hashtag Applebabies. Up and at him. Hey, I'm a baby. Look at me. Woo. Check it out. Baby oh, time. You're doing it. I'm a baby. I'm climbing up on everything. Hey, hey, this is this is okay. Why are there ghosts? Why is there a rash meter? Oh, I don't like that. So this is a game apparently about causing mischief as a baby. You want to fill up your naughtyo meter while not filling up your your rash meter. It's kind of what you want to do in real life most of the time. That ghost is giving you a hell of a rash. Yeah, that ghost is giving me the business. Stupid diaper rash ghost. No, stop it. Jeez. I like the way the people look. I like the uh, the detailed cartoony graphics. I don't really know what to do, though, is the thing. I can't quite make it up there. Hmm. Supposedly you get a gun. What? <laughs> I read the I read the instructions. There was something about a gun. Are you a gun? Yeah. 
You just gotta put it in your pocket. Man, there's gotta be more of the game than this. I'm missing something. Anyone know the first step how in Jack you... the Nipper for C64? Does anybody know how to give this baby a gun? It's like one of the first items you pick up, too, supposedly. At least the uh, the manual led me to think this. Alright, uh, let's Hold check on. chat and their good advice. It says you should, uh, they say you should try shitting yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Pushing the joystick into one direction plus pushing the fire button makes Jack jump in the desired direction. Okay, we figured that out. Mm -hmm. While standing on even ground, Jack uses the blowpipe or hoot, if available, when the fire button is pressed. Otherwise, he will jump up. Okay, we don't have the, the gun. Jack collects items by standing next to them and pressing one or two on the keyboard to put the item in the corresponding pocket. That was my that was my bad. Of course, of course, the extra buttons that you need are one and two on the keyboard to pick up the items. Why did I think that just merely having a, a D-pad would be enough? All right, so really, mm -hmm. that doesn't that doesn't work either. Well, maybe there's something else I can pick up, like like say this. Right? Surely he can pick that up. Ah, we got it. Good. I dropped it. I broke it, and I filled up my naudio meter a little bit. Did you see that? Yeah, that guy is uh, literally livid. They're purple with rage. Oh, he's pissed. Ha <laughs> ha, the baby strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, okay, I think I, I think I like this game. So that's kind of neat. This is an open-ended game where you just got to cause as much trouble as possible as a baby while not getting killed by your, your human... Uh, people who are supposed to be looking after you. I just want to know how they're giving you a rash. Yeah, I don't know. Or do I not want to know? This looks like a thing, right? It does. It looks like a, a teddy bear head. Hey, you totally can't grab it. What's See, this? it looks like there's a blowpipe up there. But how do you get up there? How do I get up there? Can this baby double jump? Pathetic. Like... Oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh. Did you get the pipe? Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, Y'all fuckers gonna regret the day you gave me a gun. <laughs> Fuck He's off! Pissed. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck off! I'm the baby. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, you have to be on, on solid ground, not on a bed or oh, something. Oh, she's pissed! Yeah. And apparently this is what you do. You can you can get a little bit of the naudio meter filled up by shooting your, your human superiors. Oh, they hate it! Yeah, they do. Let's get a full rash. Oh, oh I see. Yeah, those little, uh... Those little babies on the, 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 the UI down there. Mm -hmm. Something starts to happen. They have a blowout, it looks like. Well, we're about to give our fifth baby diarrhea. Stop! There you go. We achieved a naughtiness of 5%. I'm a goody goody. You, you can be worse than that. Alright, well, best game of the evening, even though we've only played two. That one seemed to be a little bit more cartoonish, a little more expressive, a little more uh, fun than the last game. We're also seeing games that are just, like, surprisingly normal. I mm -hmm. think tonight we're going to see some games which will be considered cursed by many online communities. Our, uh, our objective tonight is to find the most cursed baby game of them all. Okay. And maybe, if we have time, the best baby game of them all. Did you know there's a Jack the Nipper 2? I know now. Thank you, Uzi, for the 49-month resub. Do appreciate that. Thank you. 49 months. Damn, Damn yeah. Ugh. <sighs> Well, the story behind Jack the Nipper 2 is they caught the baby, and they're so sick of him, they shipped him off to the jungle. <laughs> so that's uh. that's where you are in the second game. It's a platformer where the baby's in a jungle because people had enough shit of shit, enough of his shit and just, like, airdropped him. Yes, the Beastie the Boys! The Beastie Boys cracked this game! Jack the Nipper 2! <laughs> this rocks, this rocks, this rocks, this rocks, this rocks. 
Which of the Beastie Boys had a big C64 uh, pirated games collection, do you think? Oh, God. Oh, all of them. Probably Ad Rock and the Movers and C CF4 and All Friends. Contact us in... Wow, West... <laughs> this game sold. It's from West Germany. Yeah, 1987. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Accept and Captain Future, and also Ad Rock. Let's play this. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta fight for your right to pirate C64 games. Oh. I see the naughty meter. Yep. The naughty o meter makes a comeback. This is a truncated version of the baby elephant walk. Sounds kind of sleazy. Yeah! Sleazy elephant Sorry. walk. I didn't mean to get excited about the sleazy baby elephant walk. Jack is back. Oh okay. god, fuck this. Can we just play the next game? <laughs> Alright, we'll play the damn Jack We don't have two. to play for long. Well, it's up to jump, so we're off to a good start. He's Did already dead. Good. Yeah, the baby does look like drill. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. What happened? You got murked by bees. I don't know about this, Alex. Yeah, oh, oh, bad enemy graphics. That's fucking racist. No thank you. Oh yeah, he has to battle a whole bunch of racist caricatures. Yeah, that's also you know... seen on the box art, so be warned if you go look for that. Oh god. Well, he's back, but is he better than ever? No. I would say no. Oh the bees! <laughs> the bees jumped right into the bees. I love those little jingles they have for every single item you pick up. I do love that the baby... I, I will say this for the game. It's very cool that the baby has sunglasses. Yeah. That's very cool. It is an innovation. Mm -hmm. Cool babies wouldn't become widely accepted until much later. Mm -hmm. Hey. Bye. C64 fans, were all the games like this? Because all the games I've played for C64 are like this. <laughs> this is just Montezuma's Revenge, but with a baby. It's Baby's Revenge. I love the way the baby oh, died. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Oh, thank you, Wife City, for the raid. We're playing uh, a bunch of baby games. <laughs> we are playing baby games. Welcome to the baby dimension. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing? How was uh, Kingdom Hearts? That's the theme from Kingdom Hearts, as heard here. <laughs> this is the other theme. Yeah. That's when uh, Mickey meets um, Bugs Bunny. Fucking hell, this game. It just starts you on top of the spikes. That's called gameplay. Did y'all ever hear that Kingdom Hearts was almost about Warner Brothers instead of Disney? <laughs> or wait, no, that was, I think that was something I made up. Why did you... <laughs> you got me so excited! More excited than, like, more life than I felt in months! I think that was just something I thought that would be cool, and then I was like, okay, I'll just repeat that as fact. <laughs> that's, that's, that's dangerous. That's, that's a dangerous way of thinking. That's a Danny way of thinking. <laughs> it is. I love it. I'm going to change the world to be my own worldview. Kingdom you're, Hearts is with Warner Brothers. I was going to say. All you're, games should have babies in them. You're creating like a Mandela. You're man of Mandela effect on what? your own. You're manifesting. I killed a lion. Yeah. I like the slide. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I think this place is in between the two previously played baby games. Um, not a big fan of this one. 
Let's see. I do like the sprites. These are really good sprites. This is just baby super pitfall, says Sports Bar. Yes. Yes, Basically, this is yeah. Baby super pitfall. But why shouldn't there be a baby super pitfall? Well, aside from the racist caricatures. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Oh, I think I'm fucked. I think I'm really fucked here. We're going deep and deep, and I only have very bees. limited resources, and the bees are chasing me. Bees really want to kill. <laughs> All right, fine. Fuck you too. Eat shit, Jack. What do you think of that? Wow. I'm not mature enough to not call not call a baby a piece of shit. Fuck you, Jack. Wow. Not a fan of this Jack the Nipper series. Uh, the first adventure game was kind of interesting, I guess. Second game, really bad platformer. In all, it deserves to be forgotten. Are we flushing this baby away? Flush away. Next game. Baby Jack. Two? Yeah, I couldn't get Baby Jack 1 to work. Well, that's So we're, we're getting Baby Jack 2. Isn't emulation nice? We would be waiting 15 minutes apiece to see these games if this was actual load times. Is Every baby is named Jack tonight. That's true. Baby Jack 2. Sign and released by the... <laughs> That's a really cool name for That's... a game. Stu the side by Antichrist of Death! <laughs> Hell yeah, I can't wait for this baby. I'm in. This baby's cool. Oh my god. Dude, this is gonna kick ass. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it is Friday. Friday. I've got that Friday feeling, everybody. I'm feeling well about it. Hell yeah. Beers, Beers and, and bone-breaking babies. Bro what? <laughs> well, this is the Antichrist writing mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Irving Gould, and of course, of course, those guys for this intro. <laughs> oh sh! Hey, you can't put that in a baby game. <laughs> the baby's gonna see that word. I must go to work. Damn! <laughs> so see you. wow. So already you've ruined this baby that's starting to play this game. Baby thinks that he's gonna play a game about himself, and he sees shit and damn. Horrible. What example are we setting for babies who game? See, the Beastie Boys, they knew how to treat a baby. Hot fucking jams. I know, what the hell? <laughs> hey, Danny. Yeah? Have you been practicing? No, why do you ask? <laughs> no reason. Okay. I didn't know it would save that. Get ready, baby Jack. Here we go. Guess what? It's Bomb Jack with a fucking baby. Are you kidding me? That's all it is. It's Bomb Jack, but it plays way, way worse. Oh. It's hard to... It's hard to... Yeah, like, it's got the thing where you can, like, adjust your, your momentum, but it just feels wrong compared to Bomb Jack. It doesn't feel right. Fuck. Excuse me. It's not language appropriate for a baby. Then again, Excuse you already me. know damn and hell and ass and whatever was in the intro, shit. so... Shit. The baby knows shit. Right, shit. Mm. That's a PG-13 baby. God, this music is kicking my ass. It's so good! It's just aggressive, though. It's so good for Baby Jack! It's going I way too hard. Yeah, God. This music goes so hard. Feel free to write, click, and save it's MP3. <laughs> this is so good. Oh, the baby's in space. Cool. Well, I said this didn't play great, but honestly, it plays better than everything else we've seen so far. So maybe Baby Jack 2 is a, a hidden gem. Or maybe he's just collecting them. <laughs> baby shouldn't be in space. Mine in huh? space. What the, the, you, the, the, the thing jumped up to you and killed you. Okay. 
I, I love their face. It's so potato-y. Oh, God, I'm going to have to wait. This sucks. Oh, God. Where's the emulator speed up? I just... You're a little potato baby. Got it. What is this background? What am I looking at? Hey, I don't like this uh, level design. There was another one? Where is it? Oh, in the upper right corner. How are you? Okay. <laughs> Guys, I don't think this was a commercially released product. But then again, I, I, who can tell on C64? Mm -hmm. Maybe C64 heads consider this one of the greatest games of all time. Yeah, this is their Flimbo's quest. Yeah, we all have our Flimbo. Mm -hmm. Every one of us. Rip you cool babies. Hit the road, Jack! That's right! You're a dead child! <laughs> hey! Hey, I'm not the... The baby's dead! <laughs> I'm not gonna pretend the baby's not dead! Alex isn't going to sugarcoat it. Mm -mm. Hey! What? Language. Who cares? It's just okay. a baby. <laughs> Alright, our next game. Oh, are we done with C64 yet? God no, damn it! No, um... God. See how many C64 games there are? Uh, let's play Baby Monty. Okay. You know Monty the Mole? I was going to say, is this based on Monty the Mole? It actually is. Oh. I didn't mention this at the top of the show, but the first game we played, uh, Herbert's Dummy Run, was part of the Everyone's a Wally series, <laughs> which is part, which is five games. It's the fourth game in the five game series, uh, starting with Everyone's a Wally. Mm. Just so you know. The, the hell? Oh, it's Monty Mole's little brother. Taking taking part in a new adventure with Baby Mole. Baby Mole's fallen from his shelf to Mega Dark Cavern. And got to jump to old rowing boat. And do the thing. And doesn't have joystick controls. Great. Yay. Level one. Oops. That one. Here oh, is this a freaking basic game? Fucking... This looks like a basic game. Did I... Uh... Did I win? Oh, I see. Okay. You move left and right, and you can make the water go faster by holding shift. Oh, okay. This is, uh, Commodore, uh, no, this is 2600-esque. I, I can see that. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a 2600 game exactly like this. That's me in the boat. I'm the baby. You're, Gotta love me. You're, you're just a baby in a boat. Oh, that says moles. Never mind. I was about to ask why it said something really inappropriate over there. Oh, no, honey, no. That's baby. Huh. Okay. Don't crush the baby! Imagine if this was your only game. Would you like video games? You'd probably just start reading books or some shit. Yeah. You know what? I'm wondering if one of the reasons why I didn't get as into video games as other things was because... Crunch. I... Stop crunching the child. Was because of all the bad games I played as a child. Oh, wow. Baby Monty's dead. Baby Monty. Monty Mole's little brother. Not nearly as well remembered as Monty Mole himself. I wonder why. Up next, let's play some Baby Pac-Man. I fucking love Baby Pac-Man. One of the few hybrid uh, pinball slash video games. It's had a little pinball machine that you played, and then when uh, the ball drained, you would play a, a game on the screen above. Now, is it is this that version of Baby Pac-Man? No, of course it isn't. Boo! Bullshit! Well, that would be kind of hard to do. Yeah, yeah. I think they did make a homebrew of Baby Pac-Man. What's that for? A ColecoVision or something? Maybe someone here knows. 
If I, uh, I would also be extremely handsome and talented if I grew up in Europe. Yes, I agree. Mm, yeah. What's this music? This is... This is like the Poly Polybius music. <laughs> Am I being programmed? Mm-hmm. Is this an arbitrary code execution except but by like on a, on a human? Yeah, yeah, they're Manchurian candidating your ass. There you go. Us. That's the more sophisticated reference than speedrunning. <laughs> 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 yes, because all of the everyone knows the Manchurian Candidate, everyone's favorite movie. Maybe That's it's the so ghosts cool. moaning when they uh, when you collect a pellet. Ugh. It sounds like that's what it. Oh shit! Speaking of oh shit, that's a game we gotta play at some point. We do, we do. The version of Pac-Man where if you get uh, captured by the ghosts, a voice says, oh shit! Hey, what makes this baby Pac-Man? Nothing. Thank you, okay, I was wondering. Nothing. I think it's just... I think they wanted to rip off Pac-Man and give it an original name, but they didn't know there was already a baby <laughs> Pac-Man. I think they just arrived at the same conclusion. Yes, bullshit, sorry. Sorry, next, baby. Next baby game. All right. How about step. baby packs? Multiple. Plural. Mini baby packs. B baby packs? How baby can we make these packs? Um, How baby? Bet. Uh, One baby. This baby. This is how much baby <laughs> this is. It is the littlest baby. You can't make you can't make a baby Pac-Man. This you can't make him smaller than this. You just can't. You could work your whole life trying to make a tinier Pac-Man than this. The most exquisitely detailed tiny baby Pac-Man that could fit on the head of a pin and it still wouldn't be smaller than the Pac-Man seen in baby packs. This game controls like shit. This is shit. I love it. He just zooms through the tubes. Look at this. Well, people have wanted to see us cover weird Commodore 64 stuff. So here you go. I'm throwing you a bone. I'm throwing you a baby pack. Look at baby packs. Wowie. The speed is just... What can it you doesn't say make any wowie? sense. He goes really fast and then really slow. Oh, it's baby. Much like an actual baby. Yeah, babies are famous for their speed changes. Mm-hmm. They're unpredictable is the thing. That's what makes them such dangerous enemies. Fuck. This is why they use babies in battle. I did it. You, you did good. I beat a level of baby packs. Oh, you're so tiny. Do you think... Do you think that's like the daycare center for PAX Prime? <laughs> baby packs? <laughs> oh, boy. I've been away from streaming for too long. Yeah, yeah. Well, folks, we've had a pretty good time here on Commodore 64, but unfortunately we got to say goodbye, but not before we play one final game, uh, Baby Blues. Based on the comic strip? No. Oh, bullshit. No, no, I really wish. This game was uh, the latest out of all the games we've played so far. I think this is 1990. She could have been... Uh-oh. Hey, hey, Baby Blues. Something for babies? <laughs> I just don't love this game. It sucks, but it's better than nothing. All right, sell it to me. All right, Powerade, Powerage. <laughs> really sell me on this game. 1994, are you kidding me? I love that the crack throw is just like, this game fucking sucks, <laughs> enjoy. Yeah, why did we crack this? I don't know. It's because we could, thanks. I do like Powerade though. They make a good product, what can I say? <laughs> Let's play uh, Baby Blues. Baby Blue Powderade. The Blue Powerade, Powerade. is, the, is the, the best flavor. It is. But patience. Is this like a second cracking team? I think so. <laughs> a crack of a crack, I love it. Robert, Frank, Mario, Spectre, all Mario. your favorites. Yeah, he, he he's playing for the other team now. Okay. Jeff Fallen, what? Wait a minute. Hold up. 
<laughs> Hang on, you can't just throw out Jeff Holland's name there, really? He did this music? The aim of the game is to shoot the amount of balloons required to complete a level. Always have to take care of the baby so it doesn't run out of milk. Needs a steady supply of milk. Shoot the train to gain fresh milk. Stop the spider from stealing milk. You have to take care of the birds and other opponents. Let's do it. Yeah, fine, fuck it. It's Jeff Fallen music, sure. Sure. Jeff Fallen remixes Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> There you go. It's... Boy, you play this for Curly from the Three Stooges and his head would explode. <laughs> Mo, what's with these arpeggios? Uh, the game's this. Nope. Don't like. Baby need milk. Baby run out of milk. Baby gonna cry. I'm doing my best here. All I've got is a gun and a baby. There's a gun a and there's a giant spider looking to kill your baby. Get away from my baby. Well, the graphics are really detailed. The music's amazing. Uh, apparently there's a version with actual light gun support, so if you want to play this with a, a real light gun, you can. Hey, this music is amazing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Ooh, this good is, use of drums. This is music to get milked by. Or music to get milked by. ran out of milk! The baby has gone home because you didn't feed him! Hey, I'm glad the baby didn't, like, die. Yeah, I like the other games. Yeah. He just goes home? Alright. Okay, we know, to, we know to stop the train to get the milk. So I think we'll do better this time. Um, the spider's taking all the milk. Fuck! Yeah, the spider just went on down and started sucking the milk out of your baby's head. It was really disturbing. Ew. You shot the baby! I did? Yeah, and the baby went backwards. Whoops. Oh, you can just start the game and shoot the baby right in the face. All right. You shot it twice in the face! When, when it loses milk when it gets shot. Okay. We've got a full milk meter now. Okay. I hope to never say that ever again and mean it. How many balloons do I need to shoot? Um, 47. Are you kidding? Did you just make that 46. up? 46. Does it really say that? Yeah. Oh my god. We're gonna be here for a while. We are. How much ammo do I got? 111, 110. Okay, we came ready. We came ready to defend this baby. Alright, down to 30, 36. You got this. Oh no, I shot the baby. I'm so sorry. Alright, you gotta get some milk. Okay, that helps. This music is fucking psycho. <laughs> it is! This is... Yeah, Gia, Jeff this is going hard. Yeah, this is pretty intense. There's a it lot is. of things on screen you gotta shoot at once. Your cursor's very slow. There's a baby counting on you to not get its head eaten by a spider. Which is so messed up. Why is that responsibility on us? Yeah, really. I can barely remember to run a stream half the time. God damn it. You another shot the dead ba baby. Yeah, you shot the baby. Uh, another baby on my record. Sorry about that. Well, that's all the baby games for C64. What do we think? What was the best? What was the worst? What was the most cursed, do you think? Um, I think the best was Jack, uh, the Nipper one, mm. and I think the worst was probably Baby Monty. Baby Monty was pretty bad. That looked pretty like a basic fail. game. Yeah. Pretty fail. Pretty fail. <laughs> pretty that fail as far as that goes. Fail. What can I say? All right, I'm swapping consoles. So All give right. me a give me a security screen if you would. Oh, thank God that's over with. We can go on to a real system, the Nintendo Entertainment System, which actually had a couple of baby games, believe it or not. Gonna boot up this core in the good old mister. Mm. We can uh, we can actually expand the screen after this, because the, the C64 ran in this really small window for me. Okay, why don't you take this screen and uh, stretch it to the bounds while I look for the other baby games that we have in store. Oh, yeah, which one of these had the freaking... It was this one? 
I tell you, these these prepackaged ROM sets, they are all over the place. Okay, this one is the one that had Action 52. There we go. Make your selection now. Here it is, Action 52. Somehow we've never played this on stream in our five years of streaming. We really? did We did play all the way through Genesis Action 52, but never okay. the original. Wow. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to check out much of this because there is only one baby game on here, and it is called Cry Baby. Let's do it. Uh... This baby is packing heat! Okay. This baby's... Okay, the baby fell off a shelf and died. That's realistic, I guess. Um, this is a game where you're a baby. Oh, don't touch those. You're a baby, and you can crawl up in between the different levels by using the furniture. Otherwise, you can't really do much of anything. Okay, you shoot those. You can shoot? You can squirt. Is that squirting? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's milk. Okay, I got it now. Okay, you got this? Here we go. Pro speed run. I don't know what these are, but you gotta shoot them with your milk. It gives you points and it plays a noise when you do it, so... That's just how games work. That's just video games. Are you supposed to prevent the screen from filling up with these, um... I'm sorry, they're nut sacks. Oh, man. Unless you can think of a better thing to describe what they look like, they are nut sacks. Writhing hive of wasps. I prefer nut sacks. I mean, you prefer what you want to prefer. It's just difference of opinion. They are diapers. Okay. Is that what they are? That makes way more sense and is less disturbing than both of the things. I'm stuck in the is. floor. You are. I'm stuck in the floor. Okay. I fixed it. Okay. I assume there's levels here because you started and it said level one. Bloop. Hey, look at this. Anyone ever seen level two of Crybaby? You're looking at it right now. Is this like a miracle to witness? Yeah. Much like the birthing of a baby. A bio miracle. Mm. Did you notice when I passed by the window, the the mirror up there? There was no reflection. It's I just thought that was child. interesting. Yeah. That makes sense. God looked upon this child and was like, absolutely not. <laughs> no soul for you. This baby will be punished for all eternity. Not in the heaven or hell that I have made for other humans, but on Earth itself. They're in purgatory with Ronnie. Poor Ronnie. Baby, yeah, I guess babies can be vampires as well. That seems pathetic, though, like, biting a baby to turn it into a vampire. It's like, I have a feeling if you did that, everyone at the vampire convention would be like, Yeah, the they, they'd never let you hear the end of it. Mm-mm. Oh, here's Dave, who's bitten over 50 people, supposedly. They were all babies. <laughs> he went to the fucking hospital and just went to town, just to, just a disgrace. Making all these baby vampires. Dave just going, chomp. Chomp, 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 <laughs> Just going chomp. down the line. Mm -hmm. Like a conveyor belt. <laughs> this guy is gatekeeping. <laughs> he is! Thank you for killing the gatekeeper. Yeah, no problem. This is the most I have ever played of Crybaby. The one credit clear is still alive. I wonder if this is one of the Action 52 games you can actually beat. Not the case for most of them. Oh, another gatekeeper. Look at that. What if... Oh, fuck you! Really? <laughs> Come on! Oh, I'm right on top of you! I know. Oh, that's so good. I'm what, sorry. what if we made... What if we did a stream where we made an earnest attempt to finish every Action 52 game? How do you think that would go? I think we would lose our minds. I think so, too. I, I couldn't do it. Shout out to anyone who tries. Some of the games are beatable. Others, literally, you cannot beat them because of programming errors and, and whatnot. But I figure maybe it'll be fun to just go in with infinite lives on all the games. 
Though some games break after you lose a life, like uh, Bubblegum Rosie. Ooh. That game just complete, just completely shits the bed. I really want to stream this game, dude. I love Action 52. I gotta say, Crybaby is the most interesting game we've probably played all night. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And it's an Action 52 game. What does that say about you, C64 programmers? <laughs> I mean, this doesn't have Jeff Fallen, but come on. Please, please be nice to those poor programmers. They yeah, suffered. True. It was just like one or two dudes who worked themselves to death over the mm. course of a week. I can't give them too much shit. That's so sad. Ironically, they had to program a game about a baby and miss their own baby's upbringing. That's right, the programmer Jack the Nipper. There was a Jack at home the whole time. That's why he was such a little shit, and they had to ship him off to the jungle. <laughs> Makes you think. Damn, you're doing good. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the run. This is your game. Mm -hmm. This is your game. I finally found the my main game that I stream when people ask me what game I stream when they tell them when I tell them I'm a Twitch streamer. Hey, you too, huh? Yeah. They always ask what game is it and then you have to say you're a variety streamer. And I just then... say I just say Fortnite now. <laughs> I don't care. They don't they don't care what the answer is, so I don't care what answer I give them. <laughs> Someone asked me the other day what we streamed and uh, I I said uh, we we stream really weird games and they're like, "Ah, so Minecraft?" Yes. <laughs> yeah. That guy was really cool, actually. That's, that's people's perspective on what a weird game is, Minecraft. That guy was good. Oh, man, you died and did. Look like you fell in an oven. Let's get a replay on that. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't like that. I was killed by nothing. I think something spawned directly on top of me, or mm -hmm. the thing I was climbing on was an instant death plane. Uh, either way, I disagree. Crybaby. Part of Action 52 for NES. There's other baby games on NES, though. Are there? Uh, weirdly enough, most of the baby games on NES are unlicensed. In fact, two, a whole two-thirds of them are. Uh, here's, the, here's the second one, Baby Boomer. Now, you and me, Alex, we have flirted with the idea of covering Color Dreams games on this stream. Mm -hmm. But so far, our patrons, they're too smart for it. They won't, they won't ever vote in Color Dreams. Thank Color God. Dreams is kind of like a, do you even want to go there kind of thing. <laughs> they made so many unlicensed games for NES, and they are all so, so shit. Just horrible. They were so shit that they started bringing over Sachin games from Taiwan, <laughs> and those were the better Color Dreams games. They were. Anyway, this is a U.S.-developed effort. This is not Sachin. This is, uh, this is Baby Boomer by the team at Color Dreams. Oof. Whoever they were. Jim Muir, apparently, and uh, who was their artist? Nina? Uh, yeah. I think it was Nina. You can play this with a light gun. There's multiple baby games that you can play with a light gun. I don't like that there are multiple games. What does that say about society? It says society really wants to shoot a baby. <laughs> but this game also has a mode where you can play as a cro with a crosshair on a D-pad, so let's do that. Help Baby Boomer find his mom. Don't shoot the nuggets. Twelve adds a baby. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, so this is a game where a baby progresses throughout its day, and you have to, to help it not get killed. Mostly by rats and birds and other vermin. I... Why do the rats and vermin want to kill this child? That's a common theme with these games. Nope, don't... Don't dynamite the bridge. Don't let the rat bite the baby on the ass. Don't let the snake poison the baby. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsie doodle. Oop, don't, don't have shot the baby. <laughs> <laughs> Just being real clumsy with my gun out here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, some of these you gotta shoot the backgrounds to make safe passage for the baby. This game's intense. It is. Do you think every anyone has ever enjoyed a Color Dreams game? God damn it, there was so little time. Well, are you enjoying this? No. Hmm. Then my answer is no. Are you sure you're not enjoying this? I enjoyed Crybaby. 
Well, Crybaby is not a Color Dreams game. Yeah. Mm. Yes, this is just Pac-Man 2 with a baby. Oh my god, it is. I would have also accepted... The, what? The flower. Oh. The flower was bit. Oh. Oh, oh! Okay. All right. I don't stand a chance. Let's reset. <laughs> I want to beat one level of this game. Okay, good luck. It's so simple. You just have a crosshair and the A button. You don't even use the B button. Don't shoot the nuggets. 12 adds a baby. Anyone have this game as a kid? Uh, some people rented this game as a child multiple times. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, to get Color Dreams games, you had to go to the store. The rental store. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know if you know this, but Nintendo kind of strong-armed a bunch of retailers back then into not you know, carrying unlicensed games. So, unfortunately, kids were spared from this game. Thanks to the, the draconian laws of Nintendo. Bastards. Those bastards keeping Baby Boomer from, from the masses. How dare they? Yeah. We demand Baby Boomer. We demand Baby Boomer. We want to see the child nearly die. We I'm watching this baby's this. ass. And Nintendo is like, no, we don't want you to play the game in which you shoot a baby. And that's bullshit. You don't shoot the baby. Exactly. <laughs> you shoot around the baby. Like, that's what I'm saying. All right, baby, get the nuggets. Whoop. This is just my life. Crawling your way forward, hoping to find nuggets, running out of milk at inopportune times. Is that a pit of creamed corn? You know what? Yes. Uh, it's either that or lava. And lava doesn't seem too likely in the park. Do you gotta preserve your milk? You mean by not shooting it? No, you definitely gotta shoot the milk, because that makes your milk need to go up. Okay, so maybe you just wait until the milk is almost fully depleted before you shoot it. You gotta ration it. Milk strats. Is this baby so slow? It's a baby, Alex. No excuse. This baby needs to learn how to hustle. Hang on, is the milk tied to your shots? God damn it. <laughs> I was trying to figure something out. I was trying to be scientific and a rat bit my baby on the ass. Those rats love biting your baby on the ass, I have to say. I don't like that. All right, this is our last life. Okay. I wanted to beat one level of Baby Boomer, but maybe that's not happening. Maybe it'll have to wait till our big color dream showcase that no one wants to see. No one wants to see that. Oh, I got an extra baby. Hey. 12 did add a baby. Level two is a cave? Nice. I'm glad the baby got trapped in a cave. Cave baby. Mm -mm. That's no good. <laughs> you hate to see a baby in a cave. That baby don't want to really be there. You really do! You really do! Who put the baby there? No one knows. Whichever the... Maybe you are supposed to play this with a zapper. Because they give you so little time. You can't even speed up the cursor. You got bit right on the ass. Oh, I see. The baby doesn't grab the milk automatically, so you can, you can, you can do this. Check that out. Nice milk strat. That's called cheesing the milk. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you just gotta let it sit overnight for that. <laughs> this fucking sucks. It does. Why, did, why did why did people make this? Just to torture you. I guess so. They're like... Some dumbass is gonna have to stream this in 2021. Mm -hmm. What a someone piece of in, shit. They knew someone in 2021 was gonna have to do this. Every... No! <laughs> I'm putting my foot down. No. Are you? I'm putting my baby foot down. You're putting your diaper down? No. No, that would get us kicked off Twitch. Okay. But I am putting my foot down, which okay. as far as I know in this restrictive society isn't outlawed yet. Chad, it's like, it is time to move on, Danny. This is the last attempt, I promise. Right. I know what to do this time. It's just a matter of execution. 
Oh, honey. Just gotta wash that baby's ass. Just remember, the rats will always bite the baby on the ass. So be very aware of the ass at all times. I am very situationally aware. There you go. Of the ass biting rats. Hey, this is a pretty good run. Thank you. Thank you, Bored Pleakernet, for the 24 month resub. Just a matter of executing the baby. We are not <laughs> killing the baby! Thank you. Thank you! It's two years, thank you. We are not you, killing you, the child. You. The rat got it. No. No, I shot the rat. The bullet went to the milk, not the rat. So the rat went unfettered to bite my baby on the ass. There's, there's a... The way the shots are prioritized is it collects items first and then shoots enemies last, and there's a delay in between each shot. So, that's why I'm actually great at this game, and the game itself is bullshit. I'm not <laughs> bad at it. Mm. You're not bad at it? I'm not mad either. You are absolutely not mad. I'm looking at your face, and it is definitely not crimson. I like the snake's face. Good snakes. Just excellent snakes. Okay, I knew that rat was coming. Nope. That was, that was, that was slick. Thank slick. you. Slick baby, they call me. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! See? Check it out, check it out. This baby's going nice. places. Nope. On top of this shit. What's gonna come out of the tree? Is it a rat? Probably. Watch your ass. I'm watching. Okay. Watch your six, baby. Two. Taking the baby to the cemetery. Oh my god, that hit me like a truck. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, that's. Ooh, okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> the baby crawling under a sign that says "to cemetery." Oh no, this part makes you shoot cats. This that's is horrible. Bullshit. Fuck this game. The fountain's full of blood, Alex! The baby can't drink blood, the baby needs milk! <laughs> You're absolutely right, the baby can't drink blood. Dude, this game is sick! In the classical sense. <laughs> There's hidden milk now? That's twisted. Oh, the milk only gets highlighted when the lightning strikes, you see. People telling me to stop playing this game. Did we? T <laughs> Could you have seen the baby go to the cemetery if I'd stopped this game early? You would have never seen this baby walk across a bridge of bones if it, if we stopped. To cemetery. That is so fucked up. I'm sorry. Wow, this great animation of the cat flying across the screen. I love the way the cat jumps. It's how Buttons jumps. Yeah, just all over the place. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you that Tess was able to climb to the top of the bookshelf? Oh, she did? She did! That's a rare sight. And then when she was up there, I think she hate realized how much she hated it. I mean, she made the saddest meow ever and slowly came down. Aww. <laughs> she was just like, oh, no! I wanted to. No! Baby fell in the grave. Baby fell in an open grave. Baby died in the open grave, honey. Baby Boomer fell in an open grave. And died. Something that actually happened here on the Retro Pal stream. Cool. <laughs> no, Alex! <laughs> That's actually a big problem. That's a PR nightmare. It's I mean, Ronnie's dead. What 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 makes <laughs> we have enough does a baby make? We have we have so much blood on our hands. So uh. much blood, so let's finish up with Biomiracle Bokut Upa.
only released for Famicom Disk System, then later ported to Famicom Cartridge, and then later featured in Konami's music series, Poppin' Music. Oh. Remember the Bio Miracle song? It was good, yes. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, thank God a good game. Thank God a normal <laughs> game. Chat's pretty excited for this. Yeah, this one, this one seems pretty well liked. I think our stream schedule somehow leaked this week because uh, rival streamer Dot Level played all the way through this yesterday. If you want to see a one credit clear of this game, you can check out our archives. Ooh. And whoever leaked our schedule, I'll get you. There he is, that's Upa. Is this going to be one of those things where we say that people who leak schedules should be, like, fined millions of dollars? Well, I already believe that. <laughs> Are you one of those people who's like, if you post a spoiler, it's open season? Yeah, it's open season. That's that's the exact wording I used. Too. It is! It's very threatening! So this is a side-scroller from Konami, produced around the exact same time as Konami made the first Castlevania for FDS. So these were their big two games for the, the disc-based add-on to the Famicom. Baby Game and Castlevania. <laughs> Castlevania kind of got, uh, it got way bigger than this. This Baby Game unfortunately never got a sequel. But I think it's pretty great. You can use your rattle to inflate these piggies, and then you can, can fly on them. Is Castlevania a baby game? I mean... It Some babies can play it. Cool babies. Babies? These babies are more talented than me. I don't like that. Do you know there's baby streamers? That's... No, wait, I'm thinking of that uh, that one kid. What's his name? Ryan? That's a YouTuber. It's different. Yeah, okay. They wouldn't let uh, babies be streamers. The pay's way too bad. <laughs> yeah, babies have a better union. Dracula Kun is a baby game. I... That is true. I guess? Whoops. These boss fights are where I kind of shit the bed at this game. <sighs> it's, it's kind of where the game shits itself, if you think about it. That thing turned into a baby, and then it turned into milk. Nice. This game has kind of a really simple physics engine where things just bounce off the walls and stuff. It adds an element of fun and unpredictability, I think. Very appropriate for a baby game. Yeah, I like when games are whimsical. Yeah, games can be silly. You don't always gotta make games about killing vampires. Sometimes you just wanna be a baby who inflates things. Yeah, I guess you do. What's in the box? Fairies! Oh, cool. Hey, good job saving the fairies. You're just a baby. <laughs> The storyline of this game is that you're a prince who uh, opened Pandora's box and unleashed some kind of d goat demon, and the goat demon uh, kidnapped all the babies of the realm, so you gotta go find him. Anyway, the goat demon set up a nice cake for us, which we're gonna eat our way through. Yum. Unfortunately, it's full of kangaroos, and worse, fruit. Mmm, this looks tasty. Yeah. This looks tasty, but later on there's a milk-themed level, and you have to eat your way through cheese. Oh! <laughs> which... Which is just kind of existentially horrifying when you think about it. Like if you had to eat your way out of a wall of cheese. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, but my guts couldn't take it. Yeah. I think this baby's not lactose intolerant. Yeah, a lot of clever ideas for this game, especially given that it's an early FDS release, which itself was a, a very limited system. The big claim to fame for the FDS was that games could be up to 128 kilobytes if you use both sides of the disc. And then, like, a year after the FDS came out, they were all like, Oh, yeah! We could just make cartridges that are 128 kilobytes. <laughs> and then uh, they stopped making FDS games. There you go. We've played this one a few times before. If you want to see a little bit more of this, if this was on uh, Mascot Friday a while back, I think it performed pretty well. Yeah, if I recall, this was pretty high up in the, uh... in the list. I think so far this is... <laughs> The one game that seems most like an actual video game out of everything we played tonight. Yeah, it's the most normal. Don't get me wrong, I love Baby Boomer. And we are going to see some Amiga games in a second. Oh no, we're not. But, uh, so far this is looking pretty good. Shout out to Bio Miracle, baby. You are a miracle. He is a Bio Miracle. Mm -hmm. Is this a snake? 
Oh. Oh, cool. Man, this is a cool game. I love this game. It's great. It doesn't overstay its welcome. There's a couple of shitty stages in the back half of the game, but I think it's worth a playthrough. There's these gimmicks, like these things, these sticky things where you gotta jump three times. There's flamethrowers. I do like the flamethrowers. So you can toast the pigs. <laughs> Barbecue. Ooh, delicious. Let's beat this level before we move on. Okay. I wanna I wanna enjoy myself before we go to Amiga Land. Oh man. You're right. You're right, you're right. You deserve this. You deserve this. Alex sees what's next in the list. Y'all don't know. Alex knows. I don't like what's next, but I don't think we have a choice. We gotta. Mm-hmm. We said we would. This is the ultimate baby game showcase. We can't just not play those games. I wanna get really good at this game, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, be able to bank the enemies off the walls and shit. Nice. Just look really fancy. That's all I want. To be admired for my skill at uh, Bio Miracle. Isn't that like part of uh, the hierarchy of needs, being good at uh, Bio Miracle Boketa Upa? Yeah, that's just over uh, self actualization. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Ah, ah, okay. Maslow's Hierarchy of Baby. How are you not dead, pig boy? Sorry. Take that, there pig boy. Go. Which is the right one? Uh, left? Incorrect. Sorry. If you choose the right one, it gives you a one-up. Oh. Otherwise, you just get fairies. Sorry for the fairies. It's all right. cleared world one out of what seven this is a good game y'all should play this one this is a forgotten konami classic no i called the pig boy pig boy which was the enemy that we were fighting oh is that really all the nes games we had <laughs> i am so sorry can't you just can't you just program another homebrew nes game like sack of flower heart of baby or something <laughs> I, i'd accept I a rom I hack why, why don't you hack barbie to be baby she can just be a giant baby sprite Sorry, honey, we have to do this. All right. Next up, we're playing the Amiga. Hang on, let me get my flask. All right, let's, let's, let's both start drinking. The Amiga. It's a computer. A lot of people used it, not here in America. So to us, it just seems strange and uh, disdainful, something we want to disdain. You ever disdained an Amiga? Yes. I haven't disdained an Amiga today, but I'm about to. You're about to talk some real shit. I know how you feel about the Amiga. <clears throat> Folks, a long, long, long time ago, on Mascot Friday, we covered a PC Engine game. A PC Engine game starring a baby friend. Today we are going to play the original Amiga version of this game. For whatever reason, this was ported to and released for the PC Engine in Japan. But here is the original Amiga version, seen here on Retro Pals for the first time. Baby Joe and Going Home. Alright, Spectrum, if you want to crash the stream right about now, I wouldn't I'd, say no. I'd be okay with that. Music's better. Here's the rolling demo. I like that run. Okay. Hot jams? I'm into this. I'm into this. This is kind of nightmare music. I like it. He could shoot upwards? Like ghouls and ghosts? Maybe this game's sick. That's a little sick. RP no banana, RP top banana. Oh boy. <laughs> so 
so I, boss, baby. I looked at the credits for this game. There's one credit for sound and one credit for everything else. This is a two-man production. <laughs> so keep that in mind as we play this. Whoa, look at that! I didn't know that was in there. Nice! I'm glad I watched this. Okay, let's play for real. Oh, I don't know about this. Password. High scores. <laughs> Password. He doesn't talk as well as he does in the PC Engine version. He's much less disturbing in the original. Alright, here we go. Baby Joe in Going Home. We do have a button. The button is not used. <laughs> to jump, you push up. <laughs> Love that, Amiga. Ooh, hang on. Okay. He talks a little bit, you hear him? Mm-hmm. He's very quiet. This is just how music is supposed to sound. All music. Mm-hmm. This is what I want to hear on the radio. Well, at least it's not train. God, I got generated the fuck out of by that yeah. fucking bee. It was a trick. Your ass got lit on fire. My ass was on fire. Mm. This controls way worse than the PC Engine version, and it also runs worse and is worse in every possible way. The PC Engine version was one of the lowest ranked Mascot Friday platformers for a while. And yet this? It manages to be worse in every possible way. I fell on the fire, which I didn't know was there. Hmm, at least you did a checkpoint. Yeah. Hey, this looks like a huge pain in the ass. That's your weapon? Look at the baby in the upper left. <laughs> That looks like the boss baby. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. No. Okay, baby's looking better. It's an alright looking baby. It's looking less nightmarish. Less high. I know this from the demo. Look at this. Nice. See, the problem is, uh, your life meter is a milk bottle, and in order to replenish it, you need to find other milk bottles. But drinking milk fills up your diaper, so you need to find diapers as well. Otherwise, uh, with a wet diaper, you start to move more sluggishly. I... I... I had no pleasure in telling you that news. I know. <laughs> I know. I had to do it. Believe you me. I want oh, nothing I to do with like this. this I want, n I want nothing to do with this child. This enfant terrible. You'd call him that, right? That's yeah. not inaccurate. It, it is. It's not inaccurate. Uh, and yes, the baby does have a diaper meter that fills up. Mm -hmm. They shit themselves. Yeah. Really. Piss and shit themselves. Oh, thank you. Sorry. That gotta be accurate. Nice. All right, good. Good, good. No. Okay. No. Get on the fucking branch, you piece of shit! I'm all right. We're, we're good. We're all good here. Ah, delicious. Okay. Look at that face. Look at that. No. Go, go, baby, go, go, baby, go. Uh. How about a carrot? Find the signs of the hidden treasures. Bye, Daffy. B bye, dude. I don't like the baby face up there now. Yeah, that baby looks like they're suffering. And. Oh, we collected too many uh, health items, so look at our diaper. Oh, it's filling. Yeah, that's, 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 that's a filled diaper. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
Claus. Huge, sluggish baby with a full diaper. And now you're uh, sobbing. Best babies! Best babies. Folks, I don't know about this baby. I don't know about this guy. Here's the speed run. Yeah, now that I know what to what to do, nothing can stop me. Go, baby, go. Nope, don't grab that. Oh, I see. If you jump into it, you can grab it safely. And here you go down here to get to the hidden, uh... No, this isn't where the hidden cave is. It's close, though. And that baby up there's giving me the side eye. Oh, come on, baby. This is all D-pad, by the way. <laughs> I'm not using my right hand whatsoever. Okay, we're all full up. Okay, there you go. Let's go. You're flashing. Fuck yeah, we did it first try. Nice. We broke through the barrier. Here comes the speed run. That's where home is. This way. Alright, you shit. Bye. We had to play this. We didn't have any choice. The baby lobby was banging down our door. The baby lobby's always messing with us. I need to... We need to go lobby some politicians or some shit. Oh no, look at that diaper now. Yeah, that diaper's really filled. Oh, that's that's viscerally terrible. Now you've got a, a super diaper. Oh, nice! I think. Cool. No! <laughs> he <laughs> fell onto the bees! He fell onto bees with a full diaper! <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst birthday ever. Sucks. <laughs> At least we got this music. Oh, here we go. There's gotta be something really good up here, because it's really hard to get here. Full health up, I guess. Some... some ice cream bars. Hey! But all I got from that was a full diaper. Points, too, I guess. Man, score attacking this game just involves filling your diaper repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks. Oh, that's awful. Oh. I don't want to develop score attack strats for this game. No, I don't like this. I don't like... Oh, God. What don't you like? This! This! This whole thing! This! This! The stream? Yes! The baby? The idea of doing an all-baby stream? Yes! We knew it was gonna be bad, but I... We had to know. It's what the people wanted to see. They voted for the babies. Well, half of them voted for babies. Half of them voted for cavemen. The smarter ones. Sorry. Oh, the balloon took me down into the fire. This is it. This is our last life. I gotta say, PC Engine Baby Joe, for all the shit we gave it, way better than the original. Way, way better. It plays better. The soundtrack is CD audio. It's an improved remastered Baby Joe, a game that by all means did not deserve it. We have not played the Chuck Rocks, no. <sighs> I got I got lowered into the fire again. That's Baby Joe. I dislike him. I dislike him with all my life. There's another Amiga baby game that we have to play before we move on. I turn the old keyboard on for this one. Uh-oh. This is a weird one. I can't remember if we played this one or not. 
it seems like something we would have played before. This is a game called Brat. Oh, look at all these cool games. Brood Witch, Bram Stoker's Dracula, Brand's Watch. Oh. Aww. No, we're going to play this. Okay. It looks different. It's from Imageworks, a studio that made nothing but good games. Stay there, baby. Yes, mommy. No way, man. <laughs> Go shit. <laughs> Time to party, dude. Yes. Kill me, baby. Kill me. I'm ready. Are you ready to be murdered by a child? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that, Alex? That rock, I don't know what you're talking about. Steve Green, you outdid yourself. Good work, Steve. <laughs> Lord. Sure, I'll be a good baby. No way, man. Uh. Oh, fuck's sake. Let's try and play this. My name is... I wanted to think that I'm a baby. Whisper a secret? Choose an option, baby. Whisper. What's, what's, the, what's the secret? Oh, it's probably password. Um. <laughs> the secret word is ass. That is not one of my secrets. Are you sure? <laughs> Hang on, man. Oh, God, they're calling the police. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, baby, I hope you're sitting comfortably, because here we go. Oh, man, it's one of these games. You gotta guide the baby. The baby has to collect things. You gotta put down arrows so that the baby doesn't just fall off a damn cliff because it's a oh, freaking I hate baby. That. Like, if I wanted to do this, I'd just have a real baby. Fuck. Well, first baby killed. Don't worry, we got more. Okay. Okay, so like, this way. And then we can, um... <clears throat> we can set him to go this way. And then we can, uh, go down here, right? Okay, look at this. Okay, here we We're go. gaming. We're gaming on the Commodore Amiga. Only Amiga makes it possible to game. I'm having to play this with a trackpad, by the way. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> Not the ideal way. It has to cross the freeway! It's fine. No, Alex, it's not fine! I, I mean... People, babies, have pe babies are people, and people have to learn how to cross the street. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I really did actually think you were going to die. Glad you're alive. Yeah, if you don't put down these arrows, that baby will just happily walk across a cliff. Or off of it, rather. He's kind of a... kind of a dumbass. Yeah, that baby will just walk anywhere. Wait, there's no... Will the baby jump? This is one of those jumping babies, right? It was, it was not one of those jumping babies. <laughs> it's not babies. one of those jumping babies. <laughs> Do not assume that a baby is one of those jumping babies. You never know for sure. Oh, you do have a bridge. Yeah. That looks oh, like yes. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. I'll use that this time. I didn't even notice that. Nice. This is a complicated baby game. Yeah. Like... There's a menu you got to navigate with a mouse and, mm -hmm. and keyboard. Got to tell this little fucker where to go. What kills me is all the bonus items. Like, how do you get all these? Do you just, like, frantically click at, like, a thousand clicks a minute? What's what's the what's the phrase for that? Actions per minute? I, I Someone get so. this baby on StarCraft. Hey, I'm glad your baby is getting run over. Hey, me too. Okay. I think we got it this time. There you go. 
<laughs> now who's the baby? Oh, clever. I'm the fucking baby. You are the baby. Gotta love you. If this kills the baby, I will shit. So glad you didn't get drinky birded. Me too. Is this the furthest anyone's ever played in this game? I can't imagine anyone else having the patience for this. Apparently, according to Blab, this game was really, really popular in Korea. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me. I believe what? it. What happened? The Jack in the Box uh, scared you. You son of a... <laughs> Golifer? That baby's dead. That baby is. You blew it, man! That's Brat for the Amiga. Oh. Oh, Alex, what time do we have? Uh, it is 8.35. Okay, the suffering is almost over then. Well, mm -hmm. let's move on over to the old Sega Genesis, let's say, because nice. there's a few baby games on that thing. You blew it, man! You blew it, man! Good God. This has been such a cursed stream. It really has. Did you bring home a crystal from the woods? <laughs> no, that's a, that's a you thing. I know. Don't I'm try to pin checking. that on me. I'm, I'm just checking. I'm All right. Just checking. What's our first game we got for Genesis? Oh, wait, I see. Let's do that. Good call, Alex. Now, weirdly enough, a lot of the, uh, the Genesis baby games went unreleased. There's multiple unreleased baby-centric games for the Sega Genesis in particular. Let us play first a game by the name of Baby Boom. This is one we featured during our Sega Genesis prototype stream, so we're not going to play too much of it, but just so you get the idea. This was going to be a Sega of America game released in 1994, uh, hmm, three, mm. one of those. Look at this cursed logo. I love it. That is proper cursed. It's a baby boom. Plunk. Uh, normal. Yeah, it's normal. Mm -hmm. All right, picture this. New Year's Eve, 1999. Party of the century begins without you. While they revel, you get rich. A cool million. Just to watch a couple hundred babies. The best part? They're already being monitored in an automated romper room at the swank womb tomb apartment called The Hive. Settle in and watch the party on TV, and at first light, you will be rich. The clock strikes midnight, and parties erupt all over the city. Unfortunately, it's 1999, so the Y2K bug takes effect. Mm -hmm. Chaos, confusion, noise, light, sparks, everything is wild with excitement. Everything that is except for the computers. The computers are silent and dark. Something's gone wrong. All systems are down. All the doors unlock. The babies escape. All of them. No. It seems the Hive computers were not ready for a change in the millennium. By the time the backup systems kick in, the babies have crawled all over the place, and they are causing trouble. Everything they break comes right out of your pocket. If they're not back to their mechanical nannies by the time their folks return, they're not going to pay you. Aw, oh, shit. You'll still have to pay for baby havoc. Babies everywhere! <laughs> Too many to carry. Cajole them, coax them, point them in the right direction. Just get back to their cribs. Got it. Easy money. In a pig's eye. Happy New Year. First game waste, uh, based on the Y2K bug, you think? You know, I actually think so. <laughs> it's a normal video game. Oh, the babies are all fucked up. Now, in each level, you start with uh, a set amount of money, and the money goes down based on how much havoc the babies cause. Like, look at this. This, baby, this piece of shit's just... He, it, it what did tore, you even do? It tore apart the uh, couch and tore some springs out. God, what an asshole. So That's what you so gotta funny. do is grab them over to... Uh, you gotta grab them and drag them over to the, the baby suction tube. And that's how you get rich. Why didn't they release this? Because society isn't ready for good games. I agree. 
weirdly enough, the majority of fun you get from this game is watching the babies crawl around and cause havoc. Oh, this is a bonus stage. This is boring. Can I just exit out of here quickly? Yeah, let the babies touch the let the let oh, the babies touch the edge and party. Oh, look at them go! They're having fun. We'll just let them do their thing anyway. <laughs> yeah, having fun. The 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 best part of this game, in my opinion, is all the different animations the babies have for causing havoc. They'll climb on counters, open up drawers. There's animations of the babies wielding knives and stabbing things. Not each other. Not each other. No, but yeah. I don't know, this is kind of an interesting game design idea. Not necessarily marketable or something that people would want to buy in the mid-90s. Way back when, if you'll remember, kids were too busy playing Doom to think about babies. That's why America is in the middle of a current baby Doom. I mean, I was busy thinking about cats instead. Sorry. Easy Doom enough. in the womb tomb, huh? Yeah, womb tomb. Don't like that name. Look at this, this baby. This fucking baby's gonna get up here. And... Oh, you freaking babies! You you broke the texture. It didn't even load. Look at oh. this. This baby's gonna. I I hear the baby's breaking things. Oh my! Oh Lord. my God, baby! Baby's gonna kill the entertainment center. Oh, the baby ripped up my hi-fi. <laughs> No. Now the baby's in my fridge. This baby's glitched out. It's a missing no baby. I was gonna say that baby doesn't even exist. It's broken the bounds of space and time. That's extremely naughty. You babies, get out of there! Oh, they're just tossing. Drugs. That's my fancy shampoo. What did you do to my soap? You, in the toilet. Don't put the baby in the toilet. You, in the toilet. No. See the baby. Babies are crawling away from the toilet. They're smart. Yeah, that's how you teach a baby. You want to teach it not to misbehave, threaten to throw it in the toilet. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to threaten to throw babies in toilets. Oh, I'm... yeah? No, don't. Check out Danny's new parenting guide. Go throw your baby in the toilet. Not no. Really. No, the title is Threaten Them with the Toilet. <laughs> Unfortunately, that gives away all the contents of the book. I'm going to have to change the title. <laughs> well, all this the babies... This no baby refuses to be sucked up by the pipe. Those babies, they're crawling everywhere. They're causing all this trouble. I don't think i don't think there's any coming back from this. I think we're just going to have to let the babies have this apartment. Babies, you win. This is a cool futuristic apartment. Yeah, can we live here? Graphics in this game ain't too bad. It's a shame that the, the gameplay didn't quite come together. Baby Boom, an unreleased game for Sega Genesis. Maybe not as well known as the other unreleased baby game for Genesis, Baby's Day Out. Now here's a game I've been dying to play. I was really excited to discover that there were multiple cheat passwords on GameFAQs, so that you could cheat through the game and see what the ending is. Has anyone ever seen the ending to this? I tried them out. None of them worked. They're all fake. You got game facts. Some fucker <laughs> submitted fake codes for Baby's Day Out, the unreleased Sega Genesis game. Who? What who kind could sink, of free? Who could sink so low? Who could sink so low? Can't you just like go to the Mario page and be like, uh, hold up and the princess takes her tits out? <laughs> Why can't you just do that? You got to torture me specifically, the guy who's looking for Baby's Day Out passwords. Yeah, what the hell? Fucker. Anyway, let's play this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry to say, I don't think this uh, this prototype has sound in it, but it is fully featured and has uh, there's like a two hour long play of this. So this is a weird game. We have the baby bank, the famous baby from the movie Baby's Day, Baby's Day Out. He will just kind of march back and forth, not really listen to you. Mm -hmm. Instead, you play his guardian angel. A character who is presumed to exist in the movie, but never really uh, discussed or anything. Essentially, if you've never seen it, this movie is like an extended Tom and Jerry cartoon where like the baby goes on a construction site and shit. And it's all like, oh, we got to catch this baby, but he keeps foiling us somehow. He's at the construction site walking on the girders. Yeah, uh, this film, I didn't know this, but Discord, our Discord brought it up. This film was huge in India. It was. It got several remakes. Mm -hmm. It's like their biggest grossing movie ever. Look at that picture back there. Who is that? Programmer, I assume. 
baby. We did it. We beat level one. That's the game. You got to get the baby to the exit. Hmm. So this was never released, huh? Never released. Mm. This would have fit right in in the High Tech Expressions catalog, let me tell you. This would have been better off than the games they did release. They released a fucking Genesis exclusive We're Back a Dinosaur Story game. Except by that point, the movie had already come out and flopped, so they had to change the title <laughs> so no one would think it was based on We're Back. It was just called A Dinosaur's Tale. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, the punchline from the India factoid is that one of the remakes of this uh, Baby's Day Out, released in 1999, James Bond. Oh yeah, it was just called James Bond. What a cool series. You haven't seen all the James Bond movies if you haven't seen the remake of Baby's Day Out that's for some reason called James Bond. I want to see that. I do too. Yeah, you gotta possess shoes in this game for some reason, because hmm. you can't climb stairs or ladders without feet. It doesn't work. It sort of reminds me of, uh, what's that game? Krusty's Super Fun House. Oh, yeah. Only yeah. instead of guiding rats to their doom, you're guiding a baby to uh, safety. Well, you get the idea. It's like this. <laughs> it's not great. It's one of the better high-tech expressions games, so of course they didn't release it. I like seeing the baby slide down the ramp. Yeah, that's fun. That was good. He can climb, too. Look at that. There he goes. Baby's Day Out, by the way, is a movie we need to watch in our uh, Discord watch party at some point. Yes. What else did I have for Genesis? Oh, uh, let's Was that see it? here. No, you had these two as well. Oh, of course. Of course. Perhaps the biggest and best baby game of them all. You know Chuck Rock, the famous caveman, but did you know he had a son? And his son had his own game? Called Chuck Rock 2, Son of Chuck. Is, uh... Is his son nice? Let's meet him. Okay. There he is. See, now this is a cave baby. Bonk, as we established before, is a cave boy. Neither baby nor man. Son of Chuck. He fits in today's, to today's lineup. Yeah, he's a baby. Ugh! A long time ago. <laughs> hey, come on! This is the best baby we got. A long time ago, we covered this game on Sega CD Mondays, uh, a show where we played every Sega CD game. That was a pretty good game, one of the better Sega CD games. But this Genesis version has its own soundtrack by uh, Matt Furness, and it's a uh, it's quite a banger. Hey, I hate to say it, the son of Chuck looks disgusting. Yeah, he looks horrible to be sure. No question. But the game? I had Son of Chuck for Sega CD as a kid. I was maybe the only kid ever to have that. And I loved it. What a great game that was. Okay, that was cool. Son of Chuck 2 is severely underrated. And I know why it's underrated. Because people saw Chuck Rock 1 and they were like, What the fuck is this? This is horrible. This fucking European caveman. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> Meanwhile, this game has actual gameplay mechanics. You have a, an attack that extends several pixels in front of you, whereas uh, Chuck Rock just had his belly and you could barely hit anything. There's lots of personality. There's animations. The birds are chirping. The birds are getting electrocuted. The birds are getting electrocuted. Yeah, I. it's an ugly baby. I'm sorry. Is... He's ugly, but he's the best playing baby we got. I mean, he is the best we got. I love this game. Great soundtrack. Ga great gameplay, in fact. Not something I'd say for a lot of core design platformers back then. Even my beloved Wonder Dog, I'll still admit, is not that great of a game. But this, I think this is one of core's best. Now, a couple years uh, after they released this, they'd make a game called Tomb Raider, and it was pretty much all over for them. But if they stuck with the babies... They'd still be alive today. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this part has some full screen flashing, so you may want to look away for just a little bit. All right. You can ride on shit. And you're a baby. Did I mention that part? I do like the fact that you're a baby. Now, weirdly enough, even though this game looks Amiga as hell, this is one of Core's few games that wasn't released on Amiga. <laughs> this, in fact, is a console first and exclusive by this point where they finally decided, ah, fuck this Amiga. This thing's going nowhere. We're gonna make games for Genesis. 
And then we're gonna make Tomb Raider for Saturn. It's gonna go great. I'm sorry, baby. I do like the tantrum. Yeah. Hey, he's very baby-like, you know? We haven't seen a lot of tantrums in today's games. We have seen diaper shitting, though. We did have a rash meter. Uh, I don't like that. You were trying to forget that part. I was, and now I have to remember it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this, 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 a lot of people remembering this being on the Amiga. Was this on Amiga? Maybe it's console first and then was later ported to Amiga like Wonder Dog was. I like this guy's design. Yeah, he tries to bite you. Well, don't shit. Bite me, I'm a baby. We put so many babies into so much danger tonight. Yeah, we we are we allowed to stream? I don't think so. All right, that's fair. Yeah, this guy is real blombie. Totally. Blombie sore. Look at that face. Oh, the noise he makes in this version is as cool as the noise he makes in the Sega CD one. In the Sega CD one, when he tries to bite you, he goes, rawr. <laughs> Look at this fucking goofball. I don't even know what it is. Some kind of dog? Yeah, I'm also surprised they never made a game based on the baby from uh, Dinosaurs. Perfect. They also never made a Muppet Babies game. Uh, yeah, what shocking. the fuck? Yeah. It's Dippy the Dinosaur. Now, this part uses scaling and rotation effects on Sega CD, so I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like on Genesis. I've never actually played the Genesis port. I've only been familiar with the uh, the Sega CD one. Look at that. Man, that's cool looking. It is cool. Don't need no Sega CD for that. The Sega CD does have an exclusive animated intro, though. Animation featuring his nemesis, Gary Gritter. Not a joke. Not a not a very poor taste joke. That's actually the truth. <laughs> Good job reference that referencing that guy core design. Mm hmm. Hey, check it out. It's Chuck Rock. Fuck that guy. Uh, Chuck Rock just got murdered. Uh huh. Ooh, that was the quick kill. See that nice. shit? Put me on the leaderboard. I really like this game, so we can't play it anymore. Yeah, we <laughs> gotta is, move on. This is one of my favorite baby games. It's an actual video game. Please, for the love of God, play this. Either on Genesis or Sega CD. That's my request to you. Oh my God, for completeness sake, we might as well play the final Genesis game I had listed. This is only a mini-game featured as part of a larger game, but of course we have to play Virtual Bart. People prefer, uh, By Our Miracle, Boketo Upa. Sorry. That's a good game, too. Top two babies. Uh, Son of Chuck. Uh, Upa. That's them. Do we gotta do this? Do we really have to? Virtual Bart! Uh-huh. Bart turns into a baby in one part, and this is what that part looks like. We covered this on Mascot Friday. This is one of our lowest ranked games ever. It is truly awful. It somehow manages to take a, a truly nightmarish game like Bart's Nightmare, and then it just makes it even worse. So that's literal torture to play. It's just a game about a baby being eaten by squirrels. Who wants to see that? Not even the sickos who like The Simpsons want to see this. Yes, this is what Metaverse is going to be like. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to be gnawed on by squirrels for all of eternity. So the controls are real bad. Uh, he kind of toddles and teeter-totters all over the place because he's a baby and doesn't know how to walk. So you just constantly fall off things and die. Eventually you race another baby in a 
in like a baby carriage. I don't think anyone in the entire history of mankind has ever gotten to that part. No, they haven't. You'd have to cheat or be a, a monster or something. You can do this? Hold on. Okay, no, still sucks. <laughs> I thought I I thought I discovered the tech, but no. It turns out this is just a bad game. But it's not just one bad game, it's six bad games in one. Uh. So if you really hate yourself, you can play Virtual Bart, a game that is somehow way worse than Bart's Nightmare. <laughs> Fuck. I'm done with this, let's move on. That's enough Virtual Bart, we did our time. We did. Let's cover a couple of games for Super Nintendo real quick, like. Okay. And then we'll move on to the finale. I think we're making pretty good time. Super Nintendo had a couple of baby games. Well, kinda. This first one didn't quite make it out in the form that uh, you're gonna see. But let's go ahead and see that. Baby T-Rex. Alex, I request you uh, turn this up on our end as well. Thank you. This uses the same sound engine as Beam Software's other game, Shadowrun. <laughs> So all these instruments just come from Shadowrun. I recognize the bass for sure. We played this on Sega CD once again, as part of Sega CD Monday, where it was called Radical Rex. That's the final version. Uh, this prototype version, when they were shopping it around, they were calling it Baby T-Rex. They put a lot of work into this for a prototype game, as you're about to see during the uh, demo loop in just a second. He's a baby. He's a T-Rex. He's a baby T-Rex. I do like a baby T-Rex. Zip! Zap! Zow! Oh, hell yeah. Get funky. Legendary. Legendary. I'm sorry, I was too busy jamming out. He's my baby, he's my baby, he's my real cool baby. Thank you, Akadar, for the 31 month resub. Do appreciate that. Enjoy the baby T Rex. Thank you. Oh, he skateboards, you know it. Do. He burns to death. Uh huh. Man, the sass is off the charts. Oh man, he's a he's a mask up. So the 90s. sassy. Unbelievable. Well, otherwise, aside from the exclusive uh, vocal theme song that this prototype has for some reason, uh, the game is pretty similar to the final version of Radical Rex, unfortunately. And yeah, there is an altered rap theme in the Sega CD version where they call him Radical Rex. Really, they should have stuck with Baby T-Rex because they got themselves into a lawsuit because there was an existing Radical Rex. To even release the Sega CD version, they had to put a sticker on the front of the box that said it was not associated with the other Radical Rex. Oh, man. And then they printed like 50 copies, so it's impossibly rare nowadays. Oh, good. Any way you paint it, Baby T-Rex, a.k.a. Radical Rex, was a huge failure. But still, he's my real cool baby. Doesn't that count for something? No. Really? Oh, you don't know about this, do you? Alex doesn't want to see our next game. I don't. I didn't want to see it either after seeing the baby content featured in this game, but it does indeed have baby content, and we got to cover it. Folks, uh, Retro Pals is reaching a new low by covering Clay Fighter 2 Judgment Clay. I don't think we've even... No, we saw the uh, Clay Fighter 63 and the third. We had to stop playing it because it was too racist. <laughs> we've never played this one, though. Clay Fighter 2, Judgment Clay! We're back! Get it? Like the, like the Terminator? Oh. 
few people have uh, played or discussed this game. You never hear anyone talk about C2 Judgment Clay. But this game's pretty different from the original. It keeps only, I think, three characters from the original game, and the rest are all new. Of course, you gotta have Bad Mr. Frosty. You gotta have Tiny the Muscle Man. You gotta have the Blob, of course. And then there's the, the newcomers for C2. There's... There's... There's Nana. I hate him. There's Octo. Hate him. There's Goo Goo. Don't like Goo Goo. Get out of here. Then there's Hoppy and, and Kangoo, but we're here for Goo Goo. No, we're not. We are we're, not here for Goo Goo. We are, we are here for Goo Goo. Where's Blue Sway Goo? Sorry, he's not in here. No. This is his off. child. He, he died during childbirth. Goo -goo he gave birth to Goo Goo? <laughs> oh. Well, here we are in hell. Dude, holy shit! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Let me play! Let me do a move! Wait, really? You hear that? He's saying hyper uppercut. No, he's not saying hyper uppercut. Diaper uppercut? Diaper uppercut. That is what he's saying. Can we go? Can I go? Can I go? I'm going. Diaper uppercut. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> Man, that's a good move, too. I'm going to keep doing it. You're just going to spam diaper uppercut? Yeah. People hate it when you spam the diaper uppercut. They don't know how to react to it. Diaper uppercut always has frame advantage. Well, in addition to having a cast that's entirely unlikable, uh, the game is too hard to play as well. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> do we have to see more of this? Do, no, we don't. Do, do we, we get don't. the idea? Please. You, you get the idea. You get the idea. All right, what... Okay, we have uh, concluded the FPGA Mister part of this program, so why don't you disable the capture and switch us over to MAME. Oh boy. We have a few baby-centric games in MAME to cover before we finally let y'all go for tonight. But oh my god, these games. You you don't even know. Alright, hold on. This will take, take us just a little bit to set up. Yeah, uh... yeah it's Arcade 231, the oh. other one. <laughs> yep, even in the arcades, you were not free from the curse of the babies. Oh, boy. Including these few precious games that we're going to see before we end tonight's show. Alright, which one first? Why don't we start in 1991 with Captain Commando. Okay. It's a brawler from Capcom, coming on the heels of Final Fight, and right before they perfected the genre with The Punisher. One second. This game's okay. I'm all right. I'm all right with this game. Me and this game, we, we got no beef. You good with this game? Oh, yeah. Okay. You ever seen this? Mm -mm. It's a pretty cool one. I like that guy. Captain Commando, starring the guy on the back of all the NES boxes. Oh, you should turn this down a little. Thank you. So starring in this game is, of course, Captain Commando. Of course. The uh, American hero, they call him. You can also play as Ginzu, who I always played as in the arcades, because when he does his uh, the final move in his combo, he chops dudes in half. It's really nasty. Okay, that's cool. <coughs> He's from Tokyo. He's a ninja. Mm -hmm. The third character, of course, is a mummy named Mac the Knife. It's a that mummy who sense. he fights with knives. And uh, this character, when you kill enemies, they become mummified, and they sink into the ground. That's cool. Uh, yeah. I, I like him. That's not much, what not much do. known about this guy, but but we're here to see the fourth and final character, this guy, the Baby Commando. Okay, I like Baby Commando. <laughs> it is a baby in a robot suit, and it can climb into additional robot suits to be double robot suited. Good. I like I like that you have the baby head. His name is Baby Head, and he is two years old. His occupation is baby. Alright, let's play a little bit. 
the baby commando. Look at that. It's like a whole day out. You go to the museum, the circus, this the is aquarium. Day out. Was one of the levels the aquarium? Yeah. This is just a field trip. I want to go to the aquarium. Check out this baby's a badass. Yo. No smoking. Oh. Such a rude baby. It really is. God, this game's good. It's it's weird playing a Capcom beat em up after playing like Color Dreams and Amiga games. Like, wow, there's there's mechanics here. Get that baby beef. Baby beef. Get that baby a rocket launcher. He's ready to go. Now you may be thinking, the baby's already in a robot suit, of course he can't ride on this, but Well, in fact. Of course he can ride on it. Oh, I'm so glad the baby can... Oh, that's so good. Why would being in a robot suit stop him from riding in another robot suit? Let's rob that bank. Hey, we're about to. Cool. Turns out someone beat us to it. Aw, oh, boo. We gotta beat up the dog. Dog? Yeah, that's his name. I, I guess so. That is his name. Man, this game's cool. You got... Yeah, they got like a dash in this one. Mm. This is somewhere in between Final Fight and uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Not quite there at the, the Cadillac's level. That's still pretty decent. This is a decent baby game, I'll say. Nice game to play in 1991 while you wait for uh, Street Fighter 2 to get released. Mm -hmm. Oh, come I'm on. trying to shoot the baby. I wanted to grab the dude. Gotta do a power toss. There we go. Nice. Get the fuck out of here. Dog, that's not even a name. Get his ass, get his ass. Baby didn't just die. Baby's alive. Baby's fine. Don't worry about it. Baby's got multiple lives. Mm -hmm. it's a we know this. Baby. Oh yeah, the baby could do a jumping pile driver. Nice. Straight out of Final Fight. And then I got, uh, I got freaking missiled. It's okay. We got this. Got it. Museum, Ninja House, Circus Camp, Seaport, Aquarium. I want to. This is yeah, this is, this is a full day. This is just a tour around the city. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna leave Baby Head here with the dinosaurs. He loves it here. Now, there's a lot of electric women and people with knives, but don't worry about that. Okay. He's just having a good old time. Captain Commando, definitely one of the best games to feature a playable baby because he's in a mech suit. Babies can't do much, but when you put them in a mech suit, they definitely can. Next up. Okay, so. Let's play some some Arrow Fighters 2. This requires a little bit of input from you, Alex, but just make sure you uh, find and keep your finger over the F7 key, if you would. Is this vertical? No. Okay. This is a Neo Geo game, released in 1994. It is a shmup. A shmup with a curious cast of characters, let me tell you. Maybe you want to turn up the desktop audio a little bit. I mean, on uh, OBS. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now it's too loud. <laughs> These freaking arcade games. Here we go. Let's play the game. All right. Arrow Fighters 2. It's a shoot 'em up. How much baby content can it have? Uh, the answer: all of the baby content. No, it doesn't. You could play as a robot. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy. Uh, this lady. Ninja. <laughs> a girl and her mom. A dolphin. Uh, this guy. Me. And hailing from the UK, a baby. Baby. His name is Bobby. He is one tough baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll play through one level. After this, I'll ask you to uh, use some save states I have prepared. All right. Yeah, Neo Geo had a fair few vertically scrolling shoot-em-ups that were presented in a horizontal perspective. 
This is what we call vertizontal games. Mm -hmm. Sort of a hybrid. This game's kind of goofy. It's got a lot of weird gags in the background and stuff. And you can play as a dolphin, among other things. I do like that you can play as a dolphin. Does that say heroin magic? I couldn't see it. it uh, maybe. Was it spelled like... I had to have... This is... I'm, I'm looking at this you're, from across the room. You're going I probably, insane, honey. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably insane. Yeah. I thought I saw a store advertising heroin magic. Check it out, it's Tokyo Tower. But it's alive! Oh, that sucks. No, it's not. Alright, Chad is claiming that you are not insane, that that actually happened. Did it... Why would it say heroin magic, though? <laughs> well, that's a question for another day. Yeah, this is no Twinkle Star Sprites. It's not even a Zed Blade. But it'll get the job done if you want to shoot him up on the Neo Geo. Plus, you got characters to pick from. They each have their own dialogue, they each got their own stories, and much like Castle Shikigami 2, they have their own dialogue if you're in two-player mode and they interact with one another. Oh, that's cool. This place looks scary, but I'm tough. That is a tough baby. <laughs> Alright, Alex, hit F7 if you would, and then hit 1. Let's check out some of these character interactions with the baby. Hit, um, A? There you go. You ready to fight? Yes, sir. Wow, that's a good baby. The baby obeys the robot. I'm glad. All right, next character. Okay, F7. F7, then one. This character, what does this character have to say to a baby? Can you fight, Grandpa? You're just a baby! <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Next up, how do, how do ninjas and babies get along, do you think? Badly. A flying ninja? A baby fighter pilot? <laughs> Next. <clears throat> oh, what a cute baby. Shut up and fight, lady. Jesus! Wow, all right. Holy shit. This kid's all business. You're just a baby! But I can still fly. <laughs> oh god! Spanky. Hey, you're a baby! Wow, I love dolphins. <laughs> and finally... This guy. Steve. I love Steve. I'm a punk rocker. I'm just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see why this is one of my uh, my favorite baby games for arcade. <laughs> Alright, next. Next? Next up, we gotta finish this up in a proper cursed way. Oh my god. Alex, why don't you first start up Snow Brothers 1? Some of y'all know where I'm going with this. Uh, even if you could spoil this, I don't know if you could really spoil the, the full impact of what these people are about to experience. But just so you know, this is what Snow Brothers looked like. This is a Bubble Bobble-like produced by Toa Plan, who is mostly known for shoot 'em ups They were kind of experimenting when shoot 'em ups started to fail. That's when they made games like this. Games like, um... Oh, what's that called? Not Kaiser Knuckle, but Knuckle Bash. Yeah. That's the other one. So you see this and you think, wow, this is plenty cursed already. Buddy, you don't know the half of it. This is what Snow Brothers looks like. Good. Yeah, okay. A little ugly. Yeah. Fine. You're a little snow kid. You bury monsters in snowballs. And then you push them around and stuff. Oh, damn it. I'm no good at Snow Brothers. Snow Brothers is hard. It is. It's impossible. Some people can one credit clear it. Did you know that? Then again, some people can one credit clear Bubble Bobble. Some and that's people... like a 12-hour game. Yeah, no. Anyway, that's what this looks like. Okay. There was only one official Snow Brothers game. Uh, it was up to hackers, pirates, and scoundrels to continue the series in arcades. And they did that with the next game I'm about, I'm about to show you. It's called Snow Brothers 2.
with new elves. One second. Let me get the let me let me put the whole name out there so everyone can People gotta know this name. They gotta they gotta know the name so they can look this up. Now you're asking yourself, how can you improve on perfection with Snow Brothers? No. Well the answer is with new elves, of course. I don't wanna show this off. Do you wanna see the new elves? Hi, Alex, everybody. do you wanna see the new elves? No. Hello. Oh, have some people not seen this? Okay. Oh man. Okay. Y'all are in for a treat. This is gonna be so good. Only for people in Europe, though. Okay. Yeah, lower it. Uh, yeah, there you go. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the intro is pretty good, but the character select screen is what we're here for. Now, Alex, which of these new elves do you want to be? Uh. Do you want to be this elf? Do you want to be the Oni baby? Do you want to be the Kappa baby? Do you want to be, um... I don't know what this baby's deal is. But they're all babies, and they're all bad. They're I all real like bad. These new elves. Look uh, at these horrible, horrible babies. Um... I guess we're the Kappa. The game itself is pretty inoffensive, but man, those babies! Those, those How can we elves. ever... Okay, hit F3. We gotta see the babies again. <laughs> I don't think... Uh -oh. I don't think y'all got uh, the full impact of the, the new elves. Think about it. When you go to sleep tonight, I want you to wake up the next morning with a clear idea of which of these new elves you want to be in your daily life. Which will it be? Classic style? Horn style? Kappa style? Freak style. Will it be? Freak style. This baby looks like Doink. <laughs> this baby does look like Doink. <laughs> Got a baby looking like Doink. Well, there you go. That's that Snow Brothers 2 with new elves. You can exit now. You can't get more cursed than that, right? Those new elves, the, the digitized baby faces that had horns and shit drawn all over them. That's plenty cursed. I think we can do better. No, we can't. Alex, quickly start up Tumble Pop, if you would. Okay. We need some context for this, like we needed context for uh, Snow Brothers 2. It's a pretty obscure Data East game. Another uh, arena-based platformer, a la Bubble Bobble. Except in this one, you got a vacuum, and you got to suck up dudes and then throw them back up. Okay. You know, normal stuff. See? Uh, okay. So it kind of reminds me of Snow Brothers. Yeah, very similar, in fact. We'll play just a second of this. Hey, he's sucking up Shelnov, no! the Atomic Runner. You can't do that. I like that guy. Okay, clowns, invisible men, and blue monsters. Yeah, so just like Snow Brothers 1, you think, oh man, this is pretty cursed to begin with. How much worse can it get after this? Buddy, I hate to do this to you, but you are watching the Retro Pals stream, so you kind of deserve it. Let's uh, let's suck up the Invisible Man before we do that, though. Okay. I keep meaning to get into this game. It looks really good. Uh, this game is Tumble Pop. Sorry, mm -hmm. I didn't have a chance to put it in the. Screen. Okay. So next game, much like Snow Brothers had its Snow Brothers Two Tumble Pop, the code was obtained by hackers, scoundrels thieves and it was hacked to suit their perverted needs Don't this company saying that. i say that because this company is called comad and this is the only comad game we can possibly stream on twitch oh, do not oh, ever ask oh. us to stream another comad game they're extremely explicit and with real people too so we will get banned but they did make one non-porno game it's got babies in it let's play jump kids Ah! Why not? Who is that? It's the jump kid. Get him out of here. Hey, check this out. What do you think? Anyway, here's the game. Excuse me? <laughs> check it out. We are the world's worst baby. Can oh. you believe that this used to be Tumble Pop? I love that bull. Hey, did that guy's pants come off? I think it might have. I think it might have. Instead of collecting the letters in the word tumble pop, you collect various horrible baby faces. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. That's the death animation. You go into a plane and then go into another dimension. Okay. But otherwise, instead of uh, sucking up enemies, you just kind of flail at them, and then they fly off. Uh, there's a lot of enemies that get stuck in the terrain. All the level designs are new and not really suited to the original mechanics, so the game just plays really strangely. Also, fucking look at it. It looks like this. Yeah, don't like. You're not a fan? No. Are you sure? I am positive. Alex, I can I talk you into a full playthrough of Jump Kids? Uh, at least 12 hours. Sure, why not? Everybody, 12 hour uh, Jump Kids Marathon mm -hmm. to benefit uh, the Human Foundation. Actually, fuck that. Let's skip it. Why don't you hit Tab and then choose the Cheats menu? Oh, thank God. And then pick... Um... Let's go for... Um... P1 Invincibility. That sounds like a good one to have. Turn that on. Um, hit escape if you would. I'll slap the microphone stand. Okay. I'll do my part. There we go. Alright, now hit F7. And hit 1. Now let's beat this fucking baby oh, game. Oh, cool! Thank you! We are right at the end. Let's see the ending of Jump Kids. <laughs> let's go where nowhere else, where no one else is gone, for good reason. What do you think waits at the end of this game? No. There we go, let's find out. Maybe bonus kiss? He's happy. That makes one of us. Ooh, sorry about this. Okay. That's a that's a painful effect. Looks like Elmer Fudd. He anyway, does. that's that's the ending. <laughs> Uh, the story of Jump Kids come to its, comes to its conclusion. Jump Kid has found his mom. And uh, I don't know who these other people are. Maybe the other people at Comad? Mm -hmm. Can we use these illustrations for uh, prosecution, do you think? I don't want to be prosecuted. I mean them. I... <laughs> you don't want to be prosecuted or to prosecute. You just want to stay in the middle. Yeah, I just, yeah. I'm a centrist. All right, that's our baby games compilation. I tried to end it on the most cursed game possible. Uh, what, what do we think about that? Bad. Is there? <laughs> I think, in my estimation, that is by far the most cursed game of them all. Mm -hmm. That horrible hack of tumble pop made by Comad, mostly known for their porn games. Then again, we had stuff like Chuck Rock Two. We had uh, the baby games on C sixty four, freaking yeah. Herbert's Dummy Run, Jack the Nipper. We saw so many terrible, terrible babies tonight. Uh, what do you think is the worst baby? You know what? I'm just going to say it. I still don't like Baby Joe. I'm still baby Joe. Anti baby Joe. Baby Joe is still pretty bad. I don't like that guy. It's just hard to think for as much as we hated the PC Engine version, that game was way, way superior to the original Amiga one. No idea why they chose that for a PC Engine upgrade, but there you go. Well, I hate the baby mindset. I'm getting out of it. No, see the see the rest of the ending. Okay, okay. That's what the folks paid to see. And anyway, there isn't much left. It's just, why don't you click on the game window so I can enter my initials. There we go. There you go. That's Jump Kids. And that is our baby game showcase. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. Wow, I saw so many babies tonight. You really did. So many different babies coming from different parts of the world, on different consoles, different computer platforms. They had one thing in common. I hated them all. All terrible children. Either sometimes the games were good, but even in that case, the babies were horrible. Like Chuck Rock, uh, the son of Chuck. I can't, I can't excuse that. Mm -mm. What reason did we have to bring that baby into our reality? None. None, None whatsoever. And we're still paying for it. I'm having to stream this. I'm having to stream the babies. Now you know. Now you know why they don't make games about babies. Because they turn out like that. Like that. We're done. We're done. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to our patrons for making this a very close vote. It was... It was so close. It was. Cavemen. Babies. They battled bravely. There was many losses on both sides. But in the end, the babies won. And it's thanks to our patrons for voting for that. So yes, thank you all. Thank you. 
If you want to join in the fun, head to patreon.com slash retropals. If you're at the $5 tier, you get to tell us what to play every Wednesday. This week it was a choice between Caveman and Baby, and it was deadlocked, as I expected it to be. But maybe if you're part of the, the Patreon, you can be the tiebreaker. Your vote can matter. That's right. If you feel especially strongly about babies or cavemen, you can make your voice heard. Mm-hmm. Also, I really like that image there. That's a, that's an actual pin that you got with original copies of Jack the Nipper for, for ZX Spectrum. I kind of love that. It comes with a terrible, terrible pin badge. All right, Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'm going to look for a raid target. We are also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We post highlights of our streams there including our latest one which is a look at the 1994 jaguar lineup so if you want to see some really really good games do check that out and by really good i mean oh they're good all right yeah they're good all right uh but yeah definitely check us out on youtube if you want to see uh, our highlights we're also on twitter twitter.com slash hq we post when we go live on our twitter stream when we've got new videos up on youtube when y'all send us memes, all that good stuff. So do check out our Twitter if you'd like. We're also, we also have a Discord. Uh, here's the link to it. Uh, we Thank you for the god with the cool muscle. Um, <laughs> but uh, we post, uh, there's retro game discussion, cat pics, uh, baby, a lot of baby gifts. So do check it out. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. What could it possibly hurt? What could possibly go wrong? Nope. Right. No Bubsy. We're, we're, we're done tonight. Man, I got too many choices is the thing. Too many people are streaming. Freaking, we were competing against Duke Donuts and Chubo in the same room together, and we somehow survived to tell the tale. We should have just been canceled immediately for streaming during that. But now there's like so many people still streaming. We got Dot Level playing Final Fantasy V, the Pixel Remaster, the day it came out. Oh, cool. We got, we got freaking, hang on, I'm scrolling down here. Drop is playing Floygan Brothers with Margo, two VTubers taking on a horrible, horrible Dreamcast game. I actually want to see that later. We got our friend Spin Cut playing Sega Naomi Light Gun games. Have I ever seen anyone stream Sega Naomi Light Gun games? What do I, what do I go with? What do I, I think I'm going to go with Sega Naomi Light Gun games. We're going to do it. This is Spin Cut, our friend from the Retro Pals Discord and community. Uh, go in and say hi. Drop a bunch of emotes on them. They'll be happy to see you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later. See you, folks.